Hearing that Chris Rock is in the Saw franchise in this new movie is already like, whoa, really? What's this about? This is going to be interesting. And then you hear that Samuel L. Mother F. and Jackson is a part of it. Come on. That changes everything, right? So I heard that. I was like, oh, this is something. This is going to be, I mean, already you're like, this is going to be good. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. The traps are such a, almost like a character in themselves, you know, that belong to the Saw universe. And I think that the fact that in the traps there's sort of like a choice one and a choice two. And the person who's in the trap themselves have to make that decision of what horror they're going to endure. I mean, it's, it's horrifying. It's not only horrifying from a physical standpoint, but from a mental standpoint. I think it's because the traps hit you on both that mental and physical plane that makes them so visceral and addictive. And in our Saw movie, we don't disappoint. My favorite moment was my first day on set. There's nothing like jumping in. Just jump in, right? My first day on set wasn't like two lines. It was this giant argument scene with me and Chris Rock. And it was like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm going to now bitch at you for the next three hours. And I love my character. Like, I love playing the, I love that character, right? But to be able to have to like jump in, meet Chris, go off on him, scold him, punish him, slam him in, kind of thing, as his boss, and you know, there's a lot taller than me, I'm 5'3", um, <laughs> was really fun. So just from an actor viewpoint, that was probably my favorite moment. It was a first friggin' day, like, great, let's go in, let's light our feet on fire, let's get wet, have at it. I love stuff like that, though. The people that have seen the Saw films all know this, what ride they're in for, right? So the people that haven't, to that audience, you are in for a ride. Remember going on a ride? Remember seeing a film and seeing a movie that like transported you where you're so invested in what happens and you're on the edge of your seat and you're dying to find out and you're terrified. You're like, no, all of that. That's what's coming. 